Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Um, one thing we all have in common, we're all going to die. Uh, we live long, a lot longer than we used to, but still the end point of the journey is the same. And I think everybody is a little bit scared to die, and at least some people are terrified. Because we don't know what's next. We don't know whether we just stop existing or or whether we go on in some kind of conscious form. And there are arguments on both sides of that, but nobody knows, and those that try to convince you they do are just trying to get your money. Now, there are scientists that are saying that we can have immortality. Not through improvements in medicine, but by uploading our consciousness into a computer. Now, there are obvious ethical issues with that. But aside from that, uh, most likely this option will only be available for the very, very rich. And after seeing the way rich people have been acting uh, over the past whatever, my lifetime anyway, especially lately, do we really want rich people living forever? And the other question is, can they actually upload your essence? What makes you, you? Can they put that into a computer? Can that be translated into ones and zeros? They might be able to upload my thoughts and memories, but as I'm thinking and as I'm remembering, there is a me that is separate from that doing the thinking and doing the remembering. Can they translate that into computer code? Can they... Can they translate the person that has wants and needs and, and emotions and morals and principles and the conscience. Can they put that into a computer? And even if they can, just kind of, what kind of existence would that be? Are you just going to be confined to to a, a box? Are you going to be like a laptop sitting on a desk? Or even if they can put you in a robot body, I've seen what robot bodies are like nowadays and even though we've come a long way from Robbie the Robot, I still wouldn't want to be there. So, uh, science, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but you can keep your immortality. We are human beings. We live and we die. That's the natural order of things. And even though I might be a little bit scared of death, I'd be a lot more scared of immortality in a box. Thanks for listening.